Hi there, this is Michael with StudioMLP.com. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to work on an image of Casey. Casey's a model that I've worked with quite a bit, and this is right outside of my studio in Racine. So what I would normally do with a picture like this, um, to add some contrast, to add some detail and texture in the image, I used to use a technique using the, um, the gradient map quite a bit. What happens when you do a gradient map? You just change that to black and white there and gives you a desaturated black and white image and you could use these blending modes overlay which looks pretty good or multiply bring the opacity down and that looks okay too brings out some nice texture but doesn't give me as many options as I like so let's get rid of that um, we do have channels down here that they're all black and white images but they're different channels so of course we're going to have a different look there a lot of people like to use the channels for creating black and white images but that's not what we're gonna do we're actually gonna go to image apply image and what we can do now is we can actually grab an individual channel either the red green or blue and let's try overlay I think overlay look pretty good yeah it looks good now I'm not concerned about the building so much I'm not concerned about the ground so much so we're going to do that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to control Z to get rid of that. What we're going to do is we're going to copy our background. We're going to copy the background, of course. And again, image, apply image, uh, red overlay. That's what we wanted. Okay, great. Now I'm going to hold down my Alt key, click on my layer mask. That gives us a uh, mask that's covering up our whole image. I'm going to grab a brush. It's going to be white. I'm going to paint white on my black layer mask there. And we're going to bring out that texture. Looks pretty cool. I'm just going to do a really quick and sloppy job, so don't, don't judge me on my mask because i got to speed right through this. So Okay, that looks good. I'm actually going to put it on the sky, too. really quick and sloppy just to bring out some of that detail. You can see how the clouds really pop out there. Looks pretty neat. Alright, now this one gets really dark. Darker than I expected, but that's okay. That's okay. Alright, and let's look at it before and after real quick. And again, all we're looking at is we're just looking at our model and we're looking at the sky. And look how that really brings out the detail there. Okay. Let's go ahead and flatten that and do another background copy. And we will do image, apply image, go back again. And this time let's grab the green channel. And this time I'm just going to be looking at my ground here. And I'm going to put it on darken, kind of just scroll through here, see what looks good. Actually, color burn looks really good and nothing else is really jumping out at me okay let's go back up to color burn kinda like that one yeah that looks good click on OK and again I'm going to hold down my alt key click on layer mask and paint with white just on the ground there and look how that really brings out the ground a lot of detail on the ground now um, and again I'm gonna really speed through this not do a really accurate mask like I normally would, but just enough to really bring out that detail. Yeah, that looks nice. Great. Okay, let's flatten that one. Now for our buildings, I could use apply image again, but what I'm going to do this time is actually grab a brush, change it to vivid light, get a white brush there, bring it down to say 30 or so. And I'm going to make a bigger brush here. And just by painting with a vivid light brush, it really brightens it up. It's kind of like dodging and burning, but I always found that the vivid light brush gave me, you know, I just like the tonality of it a lot better. So that's looking better, looking good. And all I'm doing to change my brush size, of course, is left and right bracket. But that's about it for this image. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.